Hi, my name is Patricia McNeely, and I am in a woman twin flame from Chicago. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you just about something a little bit different. I've usually been writing uh, some messages about the energies of uh, some of the cosmic forces that do affect us, affect our bodies, our relationships, our world. Uh, today I decided to videotape it. And what I'm going to talk about is the new moon coming up on Sunday, March 30th. This is the second new moon in this month. And particularly for us Twin Flames, a lot of us have noticed this acceleration effect. Everything is amplified. Everything is accelerated. Things are going fast and faster. Uh, there's a reason for that. The reason is you. The reason is for you to have a completely new fresh start. I got this as an advertisement in the mail, um, but I had already gotten the message that this is to be a fresh start because I was getting this about various people in my life. I was getting it about my son, my twin. I was getting it about some family members that it's time to know that everything we've set in motion, we're at the tail end of it and things are unraveling. So those of us who've been doing huge work on huge levels, right out to the nth degree of the subtleties of things, very subtle things that have irked us, hurt us, hurt the membranes of our bodies, um, given us inflammations, all these things are being sent on their way. So this time that we're entering into here that is uh, being influenced by this new moon is actually the time for the last of the unraveling of all of the things you've set in motion for yourself and your twin and your sacred sexual union with each other. So we're returning to who we once were in our innocence uh, our primal passion for each other, our core values of love, family, home, children, creation, uh, fun, laughter, uh, all forms of abundance. And this is actually, for a lot of us, the time that we're stepping into where this is, is possible is the universe going to surprise you with your counterpart. Yes, but those surprises should be getting more and more lovely for you. You should be leaving the spaces where you've been feeling like you've been vacuuming people off, cleaning up messes, being overly empathic. It's also a time to let go of old beliefs, old identifications. Uh, some of you, when you saw in the physical world that your twin perhaps wasn't getting it, wasn't doing things, wasn't taking actions, a lot of you, what you did was you got real busy in your dream time and you started doing for your twin or your counterpart what they could not do for themselves because this does move along. All these cosmic forces have been assisting this process. Now we're left with the uh, finesse part of this. Now we're left with being compassionate, becoming healthy again, being in proper and appropriate relationship with ourselves, with our counterpart, with nature, uh, in every way that we can. It is a process. So some of that process involves catching yourself, finding your triggers, some of the process will invite, involve taking actions in the physical. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that because just because it's time for a fresh start, what does that mean? That means for us, for our family, uh, especially children, that you don't hold grudges, you don't hold resentments, you don't hold old energies. You've left the density where holding this stuff is even possible. If you try, it just hurts you. If you try, it makes you sick and you that's when you do feel like you're going backwards. So you have to really catch if there's things coming up that 
maybe are the last of a cycle of something that you were working through or is it something that it's just a trigger and you can say you know what I'm done with that I don't need to react like that in fact I don't have to respond at all um, a lot of you have been getting practice with family and friends with this so that you can do this with your twin and I have a news flash for you there are people that will still try to throw their hook into you and grab you in and hook you in don't take the bait really decide if you need to take the bait on certain things because it's this big and yet it'll feel this big uh, energetically and physically to you and it can make you sick also for those of you who have done the work for your counterparts and you might see them flailing around you might hear reports from family members friends of what they're going through how they're behaving you have to understand that as this stuff comes out it's as if people are vomiting their poison right out onto the sidewalk right in front of you and you don't want to be a part of it so compassionately detach yourself walk away uh, the minute you start trying the minute someone's trying to stare you down and you can feel the hooks come through their eyes break the connection walk away that is how we get away from the distortion away from the insanity that exists here and um, you know I myself have been guilty of it uh, I have a little story to share the other day I went to go exercise I came home and the city had notified us they were going to trim the trees well they trimmed the tree on my parkway that I didn't even think it needed it they caught off five major branches and I was all upset and I've been upset about this tree thing because um, I do feel things I was feeling that it wasn't time it wasn't necessary but I'm not in charge and no matter what my logic told me that it's not my tree it's on the parkway it belongs to the city that I still let it get to me so much that I wanted to call the mayor and I had to calm myself down and trust okay that wasn't an easy process for me and yet I'm going why is this so difficult at this point I mean I should be beyond these things I'm practicing to be in the world but not of the world what do I care if they trim a tree and yet it's been all over town that everything looks bare we you know here's what happened though something really in two really interesting things happened for me personally number one I started seeing black squirrels in my neighborhood there's never any black squirrels and these are my favorite little squirrels I love black animals and all of a sudden it occurred to me new homes we're going to have new homes and the squirrels didn't care nature goes on life goes on they find the way we they go with the flow and these black squirrels were playing with the gray ones and the red ones and the brown ones and they were just getting along and being frisky with each other like squirrels do another interesting thing happened uh, there was a maple syrup festival close to my home that I really wanted to attend and I've never been to it and my whole Sunday got completely messed up the schedule completely changed wasn't able to go and that's it well because they cut the trees I was walking and it's so cold here I noticed icicles hanging from the tree and I said to myself look at that there's so much sap the sap is rising and these icicles were actually maple sugar sap actually I actually took it home because one of the things I used in one of my other videos was an icicle and there it is and I decided to taste it and it's sweet it's the frozen sweetness and the sap is rising and the same thing is with your twin your twin counterpart is actually has been shedding this stuff and they're going to come up against their own family friends bosses situations spouses and they're going to feel prompted to take action some of that may be where they can't find their really pleasant bedside manner and you have to help your twin and go in your heart and say be gracious be graceful be compassionate be patient do your best dear I'm here 
We are the lovers. We are the lovers here. We're here to be the love. I'm your rock. I'm your fortress. It doesn't matter if you can't feel your twin because a lot of the reason why you can't feel your twin is because this stuff's like a cloud between you. Until it clears, you can't always feel the love that you always are with each other. Your, your feeling may be blocked, but it's just stuff that's leaving your twin like a cloud. And so it's really important to stay steady in this, not give in to the chaos, not give in to um, old beliefs, old beliefs that it's not for this lifetime. Or I took a bodhisattva vow and it's, it's, I have to stay here miserable on this earth until everybody's enlightened. No, this is your ascension and for Lumen Twins, this is your resurrection. This is, this is it. You are clearing out all of your, you've been clearing your cosmic stuff. This is the last of the clearing of your causal body at the universal edge where you first separated, right at your origins. And it is your personal fresh start. It's time for a fresh start. Give each other a fresh start. If you communicate with your twin in other ways besides the physical way, give them a fresh start and let them know in your heart. If you can communicate with them in the physical, buy them a card, a phone call, a physical visit, do something out of the ordinary. Be confident in all the obstacles that you've overcome. This is the time for your confidence for your sap to rise, for you to know that you're going with the flow of nature and this is not, this is your one true love of many lifetimes. You know, you might surprise your twin. Only you will know the ways to woo and to, uh, you know, uh, court your beloved. You are courting each other again. You've cleared out everything that's unusable and you are courting each other don't be caught up in old beliefs of you know the male does this the female does that and this is this applies to heterosexuals gays lesbians transgender intersex bisexual people everybody who is an angelic and a twin flame uh, particularly a woman twins um, I, years ago when I used to do workshops with people, I would assist by opening their heart chakra and I was amazed at what I could hear going, what was actually being transmuted. And the fears are, please don't leave me here again. You left. Um, I'll never see you again. These, these are all going. It's all been transmuted. Everything, is, everything that's a huge major block to your union has been transmuted. Trust. Trust all of the hard, intensive labor that you've done, all of the pain. Trust your heart. Trust your eternal sacred heart that this is intended for you and that harmony, peace, love, passion, fun, laughter, friends, abundance in all its forms are yours and you're going to be walking into this. So do not be phased by eclipse energy new moon energy yeah it can be a little bumpy just like if you take a plane ride and there's some turbulence you can you're arriving at your destination safely and you are eternally safe you're eternally safe in each other so it's important to remember that i also had a session with um re regarding a twin couple where the one counterpart, because of a religious belief, actually believed that if he were to divorce his current spouse, that he would be damaging his soul eternally. He would create eternal soul damage. And that is not true. You are completely renewed, new, restored, new, repaired. All of your connections are repaired. You are reconnected. And you are joined together in your inner marriage and soon to be in your outer marriage. So it's important that you create a healthy 
relationship with yourself. That's most important. If you need medical care, if you haven't done your maintenance, if you haven't done your taxes, don't be afraid. If you can't file them by April 15th, don't give in to the collective fear. File an extension. It's free, especially if you think you have a refund coming. Don't give in to these fears of the world. Be very, very strong and confident in your love. Trust that you are loved and supported, that you have so much unseen help that is here for you. And lastly, I would like to just leave you with a little mantra of just telling yourself, it's a fresh start. I'm giving myself a fresh start. I've got a fresh start. I've been reset. I've hit the reset button. There you go. Fresh start. Fresh start for everybody. Fresh start for my twin. Fresh start for the kids. Fresh start for my parents. Anybody. And then do the work. You take the actions by standing your ground. You have brought your entire soul into this physical existence. We are the ones bringing the heart and the soul and the love into every mundane and banal interaction that we have to do. And until you're with your twin, some of it's just not going to feel grounding or fulfilling. But when you're with your twin, it will begin to feel like every little thing is an adventure because your entire heart and soul is with you. So on that note, please have a wonderful weekend. I uh, look forward to presenting another video. It will be the last one in a, a series on the front part of the chakras and about twins. And we're going to get down to the meat of the matter of how the runners will return. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful you're here on this journey and that we're doing this. We're going to go places that are just amazing and, and the entire journey has been absolutely amazing for me personally and getting to know many of you. Uh, thank you to Mother and Father God for making this possible and bringing us home because that was the original divine plan to begin with when we started this. Have a nice weekend. Bye now.